Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Goals Bible. Everton 1, Tottenham 1. Michael Keane's stunning goal rescues a point for Everton after, of course, the Koi and Lucas Moore were sent off in this match. Spurs looked to have this game in the bag. I mean, they looked in control. They looked like they were going to win this game. But they were a goal up and a man up. But somehow, I mean, somehow they threw this away. I mean, it's just, it's just incredible. It's incredible. It was a spectacular goal from Kane to equalize after Mora was actually sent off. But Spurs got what they deserve. I mean, it was utterly a disappointing performance by Spurs. They should have won this game. I mean, you expect them to go and win the game after going 1-0 up and man up. I mean, it's just, it's just incredible. It's just incredible. Uh, Everton's next game is a trip to Manchester United on Saturday afternoon. Tot Tottenham's and next five games will see them face two home games, uh, but they face three difficult matches against the teams around them. So Brighton, uh, Bournemouth uh, will visit the North London club on, on the next two Saturdays, but then there's going to be a trip to Newcastle and Liverpool. So Tottenham, they just wasted a big, big opportunity here. I'm just going to quickly show you guys the table as, as it stands now. So looking at the table here, Tottenham played 29 games, uh, 50 points. They could have went, I mean, they could have went above Newcastle if they actually won this match. Uh, they stay in top four, but Manchester United do have two games in hand. So if they win one of them, they will obviously go above Tottenham. Uh, so wasted of opportunity from Tottenham's uh, perspective. Uh, let's take a look at the um, the second part of the table. So Everton, You're looking at Everton here, they are 15th. It's a massive point for them. I feel like they saved a point here. Any point you get in the relegation battle is a massive one. So this is one of those games. I mean, they could have won this game, to be honest with you. After scoring that goal, they had a chance to actually win it when the game was actually 10 v 10 v 10 so everton did really well sean dice i think he has done an excellent job on this team and to get this team where they are now is just incredible uh, i remember watching everton under lampard and they just don't look like a team i mean look at them now even when they were man down they still didn't give up they were just fighting with full force and that is that is incredible to see and hopefully, hopefully they can survive this relegation battle. But as for Spurs, massive, massive, like I said, massive, massive disappointment for them. Uh, obviously, they're playing without Antonio Conte. Antonio Conte has been sacked, the new manager, or the, the assistant manager, if you want to call him. Uh, is, he, is he the right choice for the rest of the season? That is the question I have for you guys. Is, is the coach right for Tottenham? to finish for the rest of the season and also do you think Tottenham will finish in the top four do let me know in the comment sections I think it's gonna be between Tottenham and Newcastle to finish in the top four I, I really I firmly believe that Manchester United will be third at the end of the season but I think the battle between Tottenham and Newcastle is gonna be interesting and they do have a game head-to-head -head as well so that is gonna define who's actually gonna finish in the Champions League spot but thank you all for watching uh, make sure to smash that like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel, and also let me know in the comment sections who was your man of the match. I thought I was going to give it to Harry Kane, but they dropped points. I don't think Spurs played well that mo that much in this match, um, but I'll just give it to Kane. But you do let me know in the comment sections who was your man of the match. But thanks for watching, and I'll, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.